Hi friends, it's Liz with Premier Yarns, and in this video, we're gonna work a small sample of the Heart Warmer Blanket. This is a free pattern you can find on the Premier Yarns website, and today I'll be using Serenity Chunky in the colors Cloud Dancer, Eggplant, and Pink. So for my sample, we're just gonna start out with Cloud Dancer, and I have a chain of 20 already on my hook, and I'm gonna work double crochets all the way across. I'm using my eight millimeter hook and I'm gonna start in the fourth chain from the hook. So I'm just gonna count down one, two, three, and four, and work double crochets all the way across this chain until I have a total of 20. This first three skipped chains counts as my first double crochet. Okay, now I've completed row one and I should have a total of 20 double crochets in row one. At the end of row one, I'm not gonna turn my work and I'm not going to fasten off. I'm just going to take my hook out, pull up a loop so we don't lose that end there, and grab your next color, which in this case is gonna be the eggplant. So I'm gonna join the eggplant by placing a slip knot on my hook and then in this first double crochet of the row, in the very top, I'm just gonna add the eggplant color with a slip stitch right into the top of that stitch. And then I'll chain up three, one, two, three. That counts as my first double crochet of row two. And then I'm gonna work another double crochet into that same stitch. Next, I'm gonna skip the next five double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna work a cluster into this stitch. So first I'll chain three. One, two, three, and then work my cluster into this stitch here. One, two, three, four, five. So to do a cluster, we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, but don't pull the, through the next two to complete the double crochet. We're gonna do that again. So yarn over, insert your hook in the same space, Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops only. And then a third time. And now I should have four loops on the hook, so I will yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And that's one cluster. So we're gonna work into this stitch, a cluster, a chain one, and another cluster, all into that same stitch. So I'm gonna chain one, and then work another cluster, So now I have cluster, chain one cluster, and that's what forms the hearts. So we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna skip six stitches in between. So I'm gonna chain one, two, and three. Count one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip those stitches and then work your clusters in this next double crochet here. So cluster. Chain one and cluster. And now at the end, one, two, three, we're gonna chain three, skip those last five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. And in the last stitch, I'm gonna work two double crochets, just like we did at the beginning. So that's one and two. 
Now we're gonna fasten off the eggplant. And I'm gonna pick back up that loop that I left from the previous row, put that back on my hook, and now we can turn our work. So to get uh, to work the next row up here, we're going to slip stitch into the side of this stitch. So just insert your hook into this, like the side edge of that stitch, slip stitch, chain one, and then work a single crochet in the top of that double crochet where you fastened off. And that brings us up to the top so we can work row three over row two. Now at this point, we're gonna work stitches into the row below. So this is the working row. This is one row below and this is two rows below. So we're gonna work our stitches into the stitches from row one. So first we're gonna skip this first one right here and work four double crochets across these next four double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over, work in front of this chain, not behind, in front of this chain, and then we're gonna do four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. Then I'm gonna work a chain one, and then a single crochet into that chain one space, chain one, and then do the same thing here. So skip the first double crochet, and then work four double crochets into the row from two rows below. One, two, And then chain one, single crochet, chain one, skip one double crochet, I'm, yeah, double, and then you're doing four double crochets, so that's three and four. Now that we've reached the end, we're gonna skip this double crochet here and then just work a single crochet right into the top of the last double crochet from the previous row. So now you can see the hearts are starting to form. Now we're gonna keep the white or the cloud dancer on, on your hook and we're gonna work the next row, starting with a chain of three, which counts as the first double crochet and then I'm gonna work double crochet across until I get to where I made the chain one, single crochet, chain one. And in this single crochet, I'm gonna do double crochet, single crochet, and then double crochet again. and then do that same thing all the way across. And then when you get to the end of the row, you're just gonna work a single crochet, I mean a double crochet into that first single crochet. And that is row three. Now you're just going to repeat rows two through four for this pattern. And you're gonna change colors as the pattern calls for. So as you can see in this little sample, 
we are gonna, we, I switched to the white and I did the same exact thing I did here. And you can see the hearts really start to form on the front side of your work. And then you just follow the pattern for, for the stripe repeat, but you're gonna do the rows that I just showed you. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.